Reynolds Irish American Bar in the Rue Royale was the notorious meeting place for the Fenians in Paris. Here, the Casey clan ruled supreme under the ever watchful eye of its matriarch. Hey, John, what's the Jubilee gift you got, Her Majesty? A bomb under a fat arm. Ah, let him alone. Mrs. Fagan deserves everything she gets. Who's Mrs. Fagan? Who's Mrs. Fagan? Hey. England's biggest receiver of stolen goods. Her royal bloody heinous King Victoria. That's who. <laughs> There's a lady full of malice in her shady royal palace. And she's known as Mrs. Fagan. <laughs> Hard-hearted, cold-blooded, light-fingered, uncharted lands are her delight. You never know when you just might feel the velvet touch. You may not like it. <laughs> oh, the shifty Mrs. Fagan. She's a greedy Mrs. Fagan. I stand in false virtue, good breeding. <laughs> when you're on the lam, justice is a dead and bloody shame. Safe inside the royal palace, sipping wine and silver chalice. So it comes in taste and pain. Praise the royal to Mrs. Fagan. God bless the queen and all that she possesses. This a royal queen with oversized caresses has got her hands on foreign. Infested Majesty. <laughs> no scruples, no mercy. It is time for controversy. Time to do away with British rule today. Claim the stolen goods, grabbed by British foot. In the royal name of oh, Mrs. Fagan. She's gone a lot, she still wants more. No matter what the more is for. Give up for me. Obviously, when Duleep Singh enters this hotbed of revolutionary talk, his presence is treated as very suspicious. Mr. Singh, take a seat. Can everyone here be trusted? Can you? So, how can we help you? I want something returned to me. Have you ever heard of the Queen or Mr. Casey? <laughs> <laughs> I have indeed. The diamond that leaves the trail of murder and mayhem in its wake. Just like we Fenians. <laughs> it belongs to me, but at the moment it is in the possession of the Queen. <laughs> and when you get it back, what then? I'll take it home to India, where it belongs. Can you do it? Possibly. We were planning a little jubilee surprise for Her Majesty anyway. <laughs> Such as? Will she be harmed? Would you care if she was? All I care about is getting back the koh -Nor. You see, it's ours. Well, so did they. No doubt you're right, but so were they. We're gonna have to steal it. We'll do the job. You know we will. But if we must, we'll even kill. If that's how we can steal it, the bloody business, Mr. Singh. We're only winners get to see. Is that what you want? Are you ready? With your hand on the gun, firm and steady. And just like this, there'll be a flood, a tide of blood so thick and so. A warning to all us to let them know it's a cut throat, chilly, bitter business, self fulfilling, an ancient art. We millions know. Let me say it, we feel the angel in the way. So, we need a way into the palace. No, somewhere much harder to reach. The tower. <laughs> <laughs> this diamond. 
Must be worth a great deal to you, Mr. Singh. It means everything to me. Especially my freedom. And that's something we all want. The Koh i Noor. Is it as big as they say? It is without dimension. When you hold it, you can feel it's alive. The soul of the diamond has a life to command. The soul of the diamond has a right to demand. Oh! 